Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a splash screen with PyQt5. So this splash screen, or you may know it as a loading screen, will look like this. It will contain no frames, so there will be no of the typical window framing. It will contain a progress bar, which shows us the progress as our application is loading. And once it's done, it will show us the application, as you can see right here. So I have a dummy window. I don't have an application for this, obviously. So the tutorial is all about creating this splash screen. So how are we going to do this? Without further ado, let's get started. So let's start by looking at Qt Designer and the two UI files that we will be using in this tutorial. The first UI file is this main.ui file. So this file is essentially a representation of what your application could potentially be later on. So later on, you could have here your Q widget, your Q stacked widget, different things that you developed. No matter what you develop with PyQt5, your main app will be here. And the splash screen will finish loading and then show this main app. So this is just a representation. As I said, it's a dummy window. This is because this tutorial is only for the splash screen and not a full PyQt5 tutorial. The next UI file we have is this one right here. So this is the splash.ui file. As you can see, the colors are a bit weird. You can see here we have this welcome label and this progress bar right here. So as I said, the colors look a bit off. Why is that? This is because the gradient background that we saw at the beginning of the video in the demo is actually an image that we add via a PixMap. And we will do this through the code when we write the code for this splash screen. So for now, we have two things. We have the label, so a Q label and a Q progress bar. So you can get these from the widget box. So here I can type Q label and I can drag any label. So I'm just doing this for the sake of example. And other than that, you can get the Q progress. Um, okay, <laughs> the Q progress bar. Cool. So this is how the progress bar looks like without any styling. Now let's actually talk a bit about the styling before we move on. So here we just change the font and the background color to look like this. So I can actually just change rich text and I can check the font color here. So this is this color and you can actually get this because I will be adding a Git repository with all the source code and the UI files in the description down below. Other than that, we have this one. So the style sheet will look like this. We have two things. So we have the Q progress bar. So this is the entire thing. And we have the Q progress bar chunk. So the chunk is this guy right here. So this is the progress part. So this is the part that will increase as we are loading the screen. So I just set the border radius to be 10 pixels to make it a bit curved. Other than that, I set the background color to be this color. So this is the lighter pink that we see right here. For the chunk, I changed the background color to be this one. So it would sit this darker pink or purple, and this will be what will later on load. All right, so I can just press apply or not do anything. And I'm just going to save this again because we modified it by dragging some things onto the screen. So this is our UI. Now let's start coding and see how we can incorporate this into our PyQt5 application. So I'm just going to move to PyCharm. Here I have this empty PyCharm project that I filled up with four things. I have the main.py file, which is where we will be writing our code. I have the main.ui, which is the UI for the dummy window, as we said before, and the splash.ui, which is the UI for the splash screen. This is the background.jpg. I can open this and this is the gradient that we will see in the splash screen. So this is the one we saw at the start of the demo at the beginning of the video. All right, so let's look at the code. At first, we have some imports. Now here, I'm assuming that you have some knowledge in PyQt5. If not, make sure to go back to any of my previous videos. You can check out a playlist I have on PyQt5 with a bunch of tutorials for beginners, so you can get better acquainted with some uh, concepts that I will be glossing over. All right, so here we have some imports. I'm importing the queue application, which is what I will be executing right here within our main. Other than that, I have Q splash screen, Q dialog, and we'll talk about each of these as we come across them. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a class for my splash screen. So this is the class for the splash screen. It inherits Q splash screen. So this is the type that will be inherited by our class. The first thing I want to do is define a constructor. So this is what will happen when we initialize this splash screen object. We will call the constructor of the super class, which is Q splash screen. Then we will load the UI. Again, I'm glossing over these, but if you are still new to this, make sure to check out any of my previous videos. You will get a better idea of what's going on. So 
we load the splash.ui, um, this file that we created into this object, then what we want to do is we set the window flag. So here we're setting the window flag to be qt.framelesswindowhint. So what this does is it erases the framing that Windows automatically creates to the application. So it will erase this part that you see right here, and it will just be a frameless window. Next, I want to set the pixmap, which is the background that we just talked about. So I create a QPixmap object and I call it background.jpg. And then I will set the pixmap of the splash screen using this pixmap object that I created. All right, once that's done, that means I just defined my class for the splash screen. Then of course I need to create an instance of it. So here you can see that I created an instance of this splash screen class, and then I did splash.show. So now if I actually run this, you can see that this is our splash screen. Obviously the progress didn't move, the splash screen itself didn't close, but this is exactly what it will later on look like within the application. So this is the first step. We coded the creation of this splash screen, we set the pix map, and now we can obviously see it when we run the application. Now, the next step is to actually define this progress bar. So what we're going to do is the following. So I'm going to create this function called progress. And this function is pretty basic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create for i in range 100. So I will have a counter that goes from 0 till 100 or 0 till 99. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to time.sleep. So basically here I'm telling the program to sleep, telling Python, hey, don't do anything for 0 0.1 seconds. Now, why 0 0.1? Well, this is just an arbitrary value. You can set this to be whatever you like. This will be the difference between each step in the progress. And we'll talk about this more once we see it in a bit. Other than that, what we want to do is we will set the value of the progress bar. So self.progress bar, which refers to this progress bar object that we have, we set its value to be whatever i is. So now if I run this again, actually nothing will happen because we forgot to call this progress function. So here you go. So now we're calling splash.progress and now we run it. And you can see how the progress bar is moving. Again, you can change this, the 0.1 value to be literally anything, but this depends on the speed. So now that we have the splash screen and the progress bar, the next thing we want to do is that when the progress bar is done, we want to go to the main.ui file. So we want to see our actual main window. So how, how do we do this? We're going to do this by doing the following. So we create a main page class. The main page class is pretty simple. There is not much to it. Again, we have a constructor. We call the constructor of the super class, and then we will load the UI. So we're not really doing much. There's not much to code. So that's really it. Other than that, what do we want to do? We want to say that once this splash will be done, so we'll do it right here. Once the splash finishes, we want to call this main window. So this window object. So I created a window object. I initialize an instance of the main page class that we created above here. We show this window, then we do splash.finish window. So what I'm saying, once the splash screen is done, please show the window. Now I will run this again. And we wait for the progress bar. This takes a bit because each of these is 0 0.1 seconds. And here we go. We can see the main window or our dummy window. So that's really it for this video. As you can see, we coded this splash screen. We made the splash screen pop up at the start of our application, made the progress bar load, and then showed us our main application.